100 community health centers where the poorest of the poor can be reached. We're setting up community vaccination sites, developing mobile units to get to hard to reach communities. Today, 90% of Americans now live within five miles of a vaccination site. Everyone over the age of 16, everyone. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Here's the daily news report and Fort Stimulus Check update. Democrats are facing major difficulties in Congress while trying to pass a new relief bill for the American people. State governments have wasted billions of dollars of stimulus money and many are urging lawmakers to send the unused relief money to Americans that are still financially struggling. And I personally believe folks that both sides of the aisle must send out a Fort Stimulus Check and increase the unemployment benefits. There are still many states across the country that are shut down and millions of Americans, in fact, still need help. And if you folks agree with me that a Fort Stimulus check must be sent out, let's get this video to 1,000 likes. And maybe it's a, uh, you know, that's something he doesn't seem to mind too much. The president sees Senator Manchin as potentially an obstacle to his agenda. If he follows through on not backing changes to the filibuster, uh, not wanting to pursue uh, infrastructure through reconciliation, that pretty much grounds the, the president's domestic agenda at this point. Well, we're certainly not ready to accept that, uh, that analysis. I and everybody, be sure to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family. On this channel, I always do my best in providing you with the most up-to-date and reliable stimulus check news. And the president talked about unity and togetherness while reading off a multi-trillion dollar shopping list that was neither designed nor intended to earn bipartisan buy-in. Now, during an interview on CNN, Democratic Representative Jamal Bauman compared Senate Democrat Joe Manchin to Republican Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell for voicing opposition to legislation on voting rights. Representative Bauman stated, Joe Manchin has become the new Mitch McConnell. Now Joe Manchin is doing everything in his power to stop democracy and stop our work for the people. Senator Joe Manchin announced he will vote against the For the People Act, essentially closing the door on Democrats' push for large-scale voting rights reform on Capitol Hill. Manchin defended his decision in an op-ed in the Charleston Gazette Mail, writing voting and election reform that is done in a partisan manner will all but ensure partisan divisions continue to deepen. Now, Representative Bowman also said on CNN that Manchin is not pushing us closer to bipartisanship. He's doing the work of the Republican Party by being an obstructionist, just like they've been since the beginning of Biden's presidency. Now everybody, Senator Manchin's decisions leaves the fate of new legislation. Manchin is a pivotal vote in the evenly divided Senate. However, Manchin has already said that he opposes the budget reconciliation process that makes it easier to pass bills without Republican support. Democrats rely on the budget reconciliation process to avoid a possible Republican filibuster and pass Biden's $1.9 trillion stimulus relief bill in March with a simple majority in the Senate. They've been considering doing the same with Biden's proposed infrastructure package. This is the largest jobs plan since World War II. It creates jobs to upgrade our transportation infrastructure. Jobs modernizing our roads, bridges, highways. Jobs building ports and airports, rail corridors, transit lines. It's clean water. And today, up to 10 million homes in America and more than 400,000 schools and child care centers have pipes with lead in them, including drinking water. A clear and present danger to our children's health. American Jobs Plan creates jobs replacing 100 percent of the nation's lead pipes and service lines. So every American can drink. But Manchin told Washington Post, I simply do not believe budget reconciliation should replace regular order in the Senate. Democrats must avoid the temptation to abandon our Republican colleagues on important national issues. Do you agree with Senator Manchin on this, everybody? Leave a comment down below saying yes or no. On infrastructure, Senate Democrats don't have 50 votes to go it alone, given Senator Joe Manchin's desire for a bipartisan deal. And there still isn't a but and there still is not an obvious path forward to cut a bipartisan infrastructure deal with Republicans. Under the CARES Act in March, Americans received $600 weekly unemployment benefits to help offset the financial strain brought on by the crisis. But a recent report from the federal watchdog found states had difficulty 
distributing those benefits and likely ran up $39 billion in improper payments. On May 28th, the Officer of the Inspector General released a report analyzing how states implemented key unemployment insurance programs from the CARES Act, including pandemic unemployment assistance, pandemic emergency unemployment compensation, and federal pandemic unemployment compensation. This report noted that unemployment benefit programs have run an improper payment rate at 10%. And if that continues, at least $39.2 billion in CARES Act funds will have been improperly paid and wasted. Instead of benefiting those for whom the new unemployment insurance programs were intended for, it also found that the Labor Department's oversight did not ensure states implement the programs and pay benefits promptly. The report stated, as a result, unemployed individuals experience financial hardships due to delays in receiving benefits. As of January 2, 2021, we estimated at least $39.2 billion in improper payments, including fraud, were at risk of not being detected and recovered. So everybody, the Democrats now are still pushing for continued unemployment benefits tied to economic activity beyond the crisis. But the president has plans to meet with Senator Shelley Moore Capito, the leading negotiator for a group of moderate Demo for a group of moderate Republicans seeking a bipartisan infrastructure deal. Biden signaled that he would engage with a number of senators in both parties in the hopes of achieving a more substantial package. During a press briefing today, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said, "The time is not unlimited here, nor is the president's willingness to compromise." He made clear that the proposal the offer put on the table didn't meet his own bar. But we're very open to where the discussion goes from here. Jinsaki also signaled three potential paths for moving forward on infrastructure bills, which has been a priority of the administration. One path would be finding an agreement with Senator Capito, who has met with Biden multiple times and led the GOP side of negotiations. Thank you for watching, everybody. Until next time, have a great day and stay safe. I truly appreciate everyone's amazing support. Until next time, everybody, have a great day. I'm here on the floor of the Senate this evening to commemorate the 77th anniversary of D-Day. This was a huge turning point in World War II, of course. The invasion of Normandy uh, occurred 77 years ago yesterday. Historian Douglas Brinkley wrote that D-Day was both the single most important moment in the 20th century and one of the most tragic, too, in terms of loss of life. I think he was right. 160,000 soldiers crossed the channel that day to begin the campaign to recapture Europe from Hitler's rule. On their backs were rucksacks with 80 pounds of gear, but so too was the fate of all of us, our allies in Europe, really the fate of the free world. 